Hey, and welcome back to another speed build. So it's been a minute since I've been on here, but the people who have watched me before know that my life is absolutely chaotic. Um, but I definitely had to make some time and get a growing together speed build up. Um, I absolutely love the new aesthetic that we got with this pack. I love all of the furniture, all of the baby items, um, and then of course the gameplay, but um, I, I believe that all of that was um, included in the base game. So yeah, a little game update for everyone. Um, but today I have a Crescent style home and to be honest with you, that's not really my forte. Um, I actually really enjoyed building this house though and I love the way it turned out. I have, it looks small on the outside, but it's actually really big. It has four bedrooms and two and a half baths. And one of the bathrooms actually has a uh, full like laundry room. Um, like it's like a combo. So it's got, it's in its own separate room, but it's connected to the bathroom and it's a laundry room. I built this house in um, San Sequoia, and as you can tell, the shape of this lot is so skinny and so long. So I do have a side patio slash side yard, um, and it actually turned out really cute, so I can't wait for you guys to see that. And for whatever reason, this speed build took me so long that I ended up cutting out most of the bedrooms just because um i feel like people you know kind of change the way a house is when they download it from the gallery to kind of fit the family that they have in this house so um i did cut those out and i wish i would have left the nursery in that was so dumb but the nursery in this house turned out really cute it's for a little girl but i do have um screenshots of all of the rooms in uh the end of the video so you'll be able to at least see them. um the sims that i have living here i had the story that maybe um they were a young couple and he is in university and she is trying to raise their small family um they have an infant already and then they're expecting another one so um yeah they're a very busy family uh i tried i played a little bit with this family and oh my gosh it, the infants are no joke in this in this new update um they're absolutely adorable and they are just i don't know i i love that we got this expansion pack and um i feel like it has really re-inspired me to play the game a little bit more i just i felt like the sims 4 compared to the sims 3 and sims even the sims 2 have been very vanilla so um i feel like this does help and bring a little bit more dynamic with um the new pack and i love that they brought in you know that they will recognize family a little bit more and um yeah that, i mean that's the kind of gameplay that i play when i'm playing the sims so I was very excited to see that all of that stuff now is kind of intertwined with the game. And then they've got, it's not really necessarily a memory system, but, um, you know, they have family dynamics now and it just makes gameplay a little bit more enjoyable for me at least. Um, but yeah, this house turned out really cute. I used a lot of the Growing Together expansion pack for this house. So you will see a bunch of that. Um, I did something unique with the kitchen and um, I'm excited to show you guys that. Now this house does have a guest bedroom because um, the new expansion pack also has a sleepover aspect and then you can also have extended stays um with family and friends so maybe when she has the one that they're expecting i might have grandma come stay and help with the new baby but um you know just i love all of the realistic gameplay that they've kind of added in with this expansion pack so while i'm finishing up the um exterior a little bit and a little bit of the floor plan let me just tell you guys about the tragedy around this expansion pack <laughs> so i had a bunch of orders to catch up on for my small business and i was going to take uh my laptop down in the basement because i just recently moved my um office down into the basement and we made space for a uh playroom for our kids in uh what used to be my office so I take my laptop down there and I'm like, I'm going to charge this, make sure everything gets downloaded. That way at night I can play when everybody goes to bed after dinner, whatever. Um, 
yeah so i take it down there and um catch up on my orders and i'm like well i'm gonna let it charge and i'll just come back and get it when i'm ready to go that way the kids won't mess with it and whatever everything will be ready to go downloaded and i can play so I went back down there after everything was said and done with the kids. Everybody was down for their naps. Me and my husband ate dinner. And I go down there and I forget that it's plugged in. And I pick up my uh, laptop and drop it on my concrete floor. I'm telling you guys, I've never seen so many neon colors in my life. I was so upset. It took me like three hours to download. I would so have been looking forward to playing and yeah, that's just my luck. But I did get a new laptop out of it. And um, yeah, so that's why all my stuff on the bottom of the screen is yellow because I had to re-download it on the new laptop and get everything up and running but um oh my gosh i did not realize how expensive gaming pcs and laptops were i really need to know um what do you guys play on because i feel like well the computer that i broke was <clears throat> just a dell and i bought it for um when i was in college because i had just an ipad and i wanted something with a keyboard for like note taking and things so um i mean it was and it had like a 19 inch screen on it like it was huge so i feel like most the majority of the profit that i paid for this laptop was because the screen was so large um and i it ran fine honestly like i had enough to do some speed builds and you know small things like that i didn't really have a lot of cc but i did have cc and like mod and all of that um so yeah uh but it was playable i mean it was lackey but it was definitely playable um but yeah, I am. I'm just curious uh, to see what you guys play on. So leave me a comment and let me know because I have 30 days to return this bad boy, uh, I, which I don't see myself doing. I I like it. It's fast. It's um, the graphics are great. So I'm, I'm happy with my purchase. But oh my gosh, I did not realize um, how expensive they can be. Um, so yeah, I share with me and enlighten me <laughs> um i did add a garage to this house um but i don't really have anything in it um so you guys can use that for like a home gym or if you want to put another car in there um but yeah i did use the new uh growing together fireplace and i think i used the sofas um i definitely used the new bed the new bed is beautiful and um the new pillars i really enjoy those um that we got with the expansion pack and i love the warm wood uh tones that we got in this expansion pack as well now when i was messing with the siding i originally was going to go with an all white house but i didn't but did you guys see how pretty that white swatch was like it was so pure and so white and so pretty so i will definitely be using that more often um so this Floor plan is a little weird, but I made it work. So just kind of bear with me here. Um, I, the most center room of this house is the kitchen and I was not enjoying that very much when I was building it, but the kitchen actually turned out to be really, really cute. I did something that I never do. Um, so when you walk into this house, you have a little landing area and then that's your dining room and, um, Right next to it where I have the half walls is the kitchen. I actually get rid of the half walls and I put down a window and I size it down with the tool mod so that you cannot see it and um, made it look like a little opening into the dining room. And um, yeah, I've never, I've never done that before. I've never seen anybody do that before. So I hope you guys like that. I also added, it had a weird shadow um around where i had sized down the window so i did go back later and it's in the screenshots but i didn't get it on um video but i added the desert lux um it's the curtain rod that we got with the curtains and i um actually made like a little ledge because as you can see there's like a weird shadow or like a 
it's not really even a shadow. I don't know what it is, but um, I kind of tried to cover that up a little bit. So yeah, so it has like a little ledge on and I put it on both sides and then I kind of cluttered it up a little bit. Now this coffee table, let me just tell you, this is something that I would have in my house for real. And when I said eclectic earlier, I feel like that was the wrong term. Like I feel like it's almost like repurposed, like it has a repurposed, um, feel to this pack and I absolutely love it. Um, it's just so different than what we already have in the game. So um, I was excited to see that. Now with the story that I had for the Sims in this house, I kind of made the house decorated in a way to tell their story. So he's got, I add some textbooks to this desk later. Um, I ended up putting a playpen also in the living room. I now, it's not the fence playpen, but it's like the crib playpen. So um, for naps and things, or even at night, you can keep the infant downstairs because it is so annoying to have to... Because the, the master bedroom in this house is on the first floor, which you could move to the second floor and it wouldn't be a problem. Um, but I just had... The way I had it, you know, laid out was that the master was downstairs. So um, they I have her put the babies down for their naps in the living room and um the tv does wake them up which i didn't think it would um you know having real kids they don't care too much about noises surrounding them when they're tired at least my kids didn't but uh yeah so i i kind of have it the house semi cluttered um but like like she tries to keep it you know, organized and everything. And I also have room for a fur baby in this house. So I've got um, a small dog bed and some food bowls. Now, when I was playtesting this build, I was playing with the family a little bit longer than I normally do just to kind of get a feel for the new gameplay. And their little dog ran away, a little shit. I didn't know that that was a thing. Like the entire household was devastated, including the infant. But um, there's, I guess you can send an alert out on your phone and um, it'll make him come back faster. And he did end up coming back, but I was just was like uh, rude. And also for this house, I was trying to keep like a neutral color scheme going on. And I think I did pretty good. Um, the upstairs kind of carries the, th the same theme, but um, is definitely more geared towards the uh, people in the rooms. And I did add that little cube shelf down here um, on the landing area of the entry. And I thought that was so cute. So I did clutter that up with some kitchen items and some of more of his textbooks for school and um, some board games because we got some board game clutter items with the new pack and I absolutely love those. I love though that they can go walking um, like speed walking um, with the whole family so I thought that was a really good idea um, but I just feel like this pack has a lot of stuff to offer um, so I was really happy to see all of that. I feel like um, it was m more so geared towards gameplay um expansion pack as opposed to a build by expansion pack which i'm fine with i definitely think that we needed the gaming updates and we did get some really cute stuff with this expansion pack so i am i am 110 percent fine with all of the items that we got and the gameplay that we got that's the stove also that we got with this pack and i absolutely love that and then the oven range that goes above it they, I love like that cream color with that gold or brassy um, accent, but I absolutely hate the fridge. I It doesn't even look like it belongs in a family home. It honestly looks like the cottage living duplicate. So I don't know what, like why we got a weird looking fridge. I just wanted it like a normal looking fridge um, that would match, but that's not what we got. And I'm... <laughs> sad about it but um at least we got the oven stove um and there I'm just using those um cabinets to also kind of hide that weird um shadow or lip that I had from adding that window in there so um you wouldn't be able to see it and I was just making sure that you couldn't see it from the other side um this house is full of hanging plants potted plants trees 
all of the above. Um, I also added a high chair to this one, even though I add high chairs to every build that I do because I just feel like it's a normal accessory for toddlers. But um, in the live stream, when they were talking about the growing together, they said that they updated it. And um, I never really had a problem with the high chairs. They just sometimes it would like they wouldn't interact with the toddler. Um, but I didn't see any problems in um, with the new expansion pack. A big part of um, your infants growing and learning is teaching them like foods and stuff like that. So I thought that was essential for this build. Um, but yeah, that you can uh, teach your infants and new things and feed them new foods and they'll like them or they won't like them and um you know just again another realistic game play aspect that is part of everyday life when you have infants so i did add the high chair so don't be scared of it it'll work fine i promise but now i'm working on their um master bedroom and i did do something that i never do um, I used some of the home decor or the dream home decor and made them like a custom, not a wardrobe, but like a dresser area. And, um, I never really use that stuff. I don't know why I feel like when you, it again is on like the inside wall. So when the walls are down, you can't really see it. So I, that kind of deteriorates me from using it. Uh, but I did do it in this house and I learned, thought it turned out really cute. Um. I did add a TV too, and I but I added the wood that I have in the outside to the background to make it look kind of like a built-in unit, um, like something that you would get from, like I said, Ikea or something. So um, yeah, that I did do that, and I kind of cluttered it up. Their bathroom and their bedroom is a little on the small side. It doesn't have a lot of uh, counter space, so I thought maybe she would come in here and do her hair and makeup in front of the mirror and TV. Um, I do end up moving things around because I wanted them to be able to see the bed from, or their TV from their bed. So I flip all that around and I do add another desk area, maybe like her desk area. Um, and then you can also see those were the, um, picture frames that I was talking about. I think that is such a fun and cute way to customize your own little, you know, story and uh, you just slide them in. It's so easy. So like you can just take a picture on your phone or like a camera and you just um, drag and drop and it'll show up there. Now, I don't know. Um, sometimes I have issues if I were to download, if I were to put photos in those and then upload them to the gallery, it will sometimes show as CC. Uh, but I don't know if that's still the case. I haven't tried it with this yet. Um, also with this pack, we got a beautiful shower tub combo and I absolutely love shower tub combos and I've been waiting for a decent one to come for a very, very long time. And it's finally here. I swear I'm going to overuse that so much. Um, but yeah, it comes in so many pretty swatches and, um, I just, it's got like a modern feel to it, but I feel like it's not too modern to where you couldn't use it in literally any build. Like, I feel like that shower tub combo would go with any build except for like a rustic old rundown build <laughs> um but yeah i did add her a yoga mat and i added a guitar she's um some of her likes and dislikes well i don't i don't ever do the dislikes because i feel like it inner twines negatively too much so i only add likes for my sims and uh one of hers is wellness and fitness and um creativity. So I did put the guitar in there, but I figured um, the dad could maybe also be a part of like playing the guitar and things like that for the little kiddos. I did move around a lot in this house. I think it was just because of the overwhelming stuff that we got with this pack. And I did find myself kind of bouncing around instead of sticking to one room. So I do apologize about that. So we're back in the kitchen um, and I'm just kind of cluttering up those shelves that I added in there in the kitchen just to make it look a little bit better. Um, now the clutter stuff that we got with the growing together expansion pack, I was expecting a little bit more. Um, and then a lot of like, 
the stuff that we did get that was clutter is not usable. So they gave us like these really cute um, animals and like ones it's like a handmade or like a craft style um and it looks like he's like maybe on a pirate ship or something and but it's not functional so it's like to me what a waste of clutter but um it is a really cute item um so that might be cute in like a living room or um in a bedroom just as kind of like a decoration but i wish they would have made it playable um we got a bunch of new infant toys and um, things like that. Now I did pull out a bobby pillow that, um, is near the bassinet in the living room. Uh, but I don't, it's just a debug item. So I don't think that you can interact with it or like sit the baby in it at all. Um, so that's kind of disappointing. And then also I didn't realize that the baby play mats were, um, well, okay. So it's the baby play mat. And the changing tables. So yeah, both of those items come with growing together, which I think is a little unfair, but that's just me. Um, also too, I've seen a lot of people saying that they can't figure out um, the back carrier because you can carry your infant on your back now. And um, if you click on the infant or either your SIM, one or the other, you can choose which infant carrier you want. And then it's kind of like, it, when you want to take the dog for a walk, you can uh, just clip it, you know, like it'll clip on automatically. So once you select your SIM and say put in carrier, it'll pull up the family dialogue and it'll say like, which one do you want to put in the carrier? And then you just click it and then they'll put them on kind of like the leash for the dog. Now I do like the um, infant carrier, but I would have so wished that they would have done strollers instead. Um, so I'm a little disappointed with that. I mean, I'm not like super disappointed about it, but um, I definitely think strollers would have been cuter. And I'm really excited about the um, fountain water park um, that they have. And I think that would be so cute. I'm actually going to build my own community lot with those. So I'm excited for that. Um, I think it's so cute. They have like a little whale, they have some flowers, they have some just ones that go in the ground and just shoot up water. Uh, but I think the infants can even play in that. And then of course, kids, dog, and they said the dogs can too. So uh, yeah, that'll all be kind of fun, but I'm going to do some type of community lot. I'm not exactly sure what type of community lot I'm going to do, but um, that's next for me, I think. So now I'm already on the outside um, working on a little bit of the landscaping. And um, like I said, this class is kind of like elongated. So I definitely just didn't know exactly what to do. So I just kind of did a side yard side patio. And that's what I'm working on now. I did kind of like a self-made um, couch there. And then I added a fire pit. And then I added those string lights. But what I also did with the string lights was I um, added some ceiling lights and I made them really yellow not not like ugly yellow but um to kind of give it the vibe that they were like string lights you know how like the warm light or the warm white lights um kind of have like that yellow uh you know color to them I uh re I added those ceiling lights and I kind of changed the color to make them look a little bit more yellow um so that looks really good when it's dark um, and then I think that's about it. Um, I do decorate the front patio and then I decorate this back patio a little bit. Um, just really a seating area, but I did add that cute little grill, um, that we got with a base game update a while ago. Um, but I thought it just fit, uh, the style of this house a little bit. Um, and then I do change those, um, white pillars, um, that I have framing the house to a, more brown color to match the siding a little bit better um but i think that's pretty much it for this build um like i said i didn't really show the upstairs being furnished just because those are bedrooms and i figured 
you guys change them to mimic the families that you have living in your own houses but um there are screenshots that i'm going to show and uh those will be up here in just a little bit um but thanks for watching if you guys enjoyed it like and subscribe um because i don't want to just talk to myself if no one's gonna watch me do spill builds so <laughs> uh yeah so go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel i'm also on instagram so we can be friends over there too and um i hope to see you guys again so i'll talk to you guys later bye bye